As the boat retreated, leaving Rory to the mercy of the churning sea, the island of White Hearth loomed ominously ahead. A land with no guards, only prisoners left to their own savage devices. Forced to swim or perish, Rory battled the waves, each stroke a fight for survival, until, exhausted <coughs> and half-drowned, he staggered onto the shore. The island, blanketed in an eerie silence, seemed abandoned. Yet Rory felt unseen eyes watching his every move. The jungle was a living entity, its dense canopy blotting out the sun, its air thick with the scent of decay. Daylight brought relentless rain and blistering heat, while at night, swarms of insects feasted on his flesh. Desperation clawed at Rory's mind as hunger and thirst tightened their grip. He was reduced to a shadow of his former self, haunted by the realization that this island might claim his life. In his weakest moment, Rory's plea to the heavens for salvation seemed futile until he awoke to find sustenance laid beside him. Ravenously consuming the fruits and water, he barely noticed the figure above until laughter <laughs> pierced his solitude. Jane, a mysterious woman perched in the trees, watched him with amusement. Her sudden presence on this godforsaken island sparked a flicker of hope in Rory's heart, but also a gnawing suspicion. Who was she, and what did her laughter conceal? I cannot believe how that ended. It would mean a lot to us if you liked and shared the video. Click on the profile to see it and more of our engaging stories. And if you haven't already, make sure you've subscribed or followed. Trust us, you don't want to miss out on part two.